them. Fire them. Hey, yo, guess what? This is episode four of the Odyssey. And I'm your host, Sean Johnson. What? This right here is Gino Brown. Oh, and Steph. This is Shade Renee. Namaste. Fuck being quiet. Why are you whispering? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I forgot a big mouth. Nah. I don't whisper. We back, we back. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, them give me some popcorn. My fast. Namaste, yeah. wild motherfucker. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Namaste. Yep, I'm your host with the most. You uh, know what I'm talking about? Shorty said you gotta leave. I was like, nah, I'm stay. Be <laughs> <laughs> a little distorted, but we fixing the levels as we go. We gotta fly this uh, as we go. And um. I'm Sean Johnson. Mm-hmm. I'm your boy Overhead Steph, eating some snacks. And what they call you? Namaste. I'm your millennial mystic, Shade Renee. You already know we we from New York. What you talk about? What the fuck are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Fuck in my face with that dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck is you dummies? You stupid? I'm a New Yorkian. You know what I'm talking about? What is it? Uh, April 30th today? Yeah. 30th of April. Hello. It's right here. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go to it. Let's take a look. It's April 30th. Mm-hmm. That third day? <laughs> Um, yeah, it's good to see everybody. How's everybody doing? I'm chilling, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm um, tired, man. I'm exhausted. I've been doing a lot of editing and shit trying to get this channel off the ground. What's the channel again? It's Overhead Steph on YouTube. We're doing a lot of game streaming. You know what I mean? A little game streaming, also some video content coming out. A little bit of reviews, tutorials. We got a lot of tips and tricks that you tell you so you get the blocka blocka. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, you know, we're just having a little fun over there. Oh, what you got going on, Shade? I'm here. Shit, another week. It's a good week. It's nice outside. It's springtime. I feel alive. Mm-hmm. So, y'all ready to get into this? Let's get into it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say y'all one more thing. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. We're going to bless the show real quick. We're going to bless the show. Listen, we don't do a lot of drink. We ain't trying to be drink kids. And that little, a little Christian. But you got a little sunny day today that's going on. So you know what I'm saying? That's a you know what I mean? Day so, look, look, look at the melanin and then bling. Oh. Look, at the, look at the melanin and then bringing off the skin. You know what that is? The sundress season. Mm-hmm. Now let's just have a little toast <laughs> to sundress season. You know what I'm saying? I, I, listen, I'm, I'm not single, so you know what I mean? But we can still appreciate the sundress season. What's wrong with God sundress bless. Season? Ain't, what's wrong with Everybody's it? Everybody's happy. Ain't not a wrong with sundress happy. season. Mm-hmm. Yo, man, the summer's coming. Mm-hmm. I love the summer. I, love I feel it. like um, New York becomes alive in the summer. It comes almost. way different. Well, bro. it's the sun time. It's the sun. Now, nah, but it's something different. Like the I, energy's I, up. The energy is 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 rampant. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yo, you think you'd be a different type of nigga if you grew up in California? Right? Hell yeah. OD. I'd be totally different. I'll probably there's be some goods and bads though. Like I ain't gonna lie, New York got me mad aggressive. Yeah, right. Hell yeah, yeah. You gotta be. I, I can yeah. thank thank um New York for my aggressive. Yeah. Goodness. I mean, but it also like, it also helps us be so, with that survivors. You know what I mean? Like you gotta you gotta be tough out here. Yeah. You know what I mean? You gotta you gotta can't be no weak bitch. You can't be no weak bitch. Niggas niggas is not like New York is is the only time I ever seen New York be like mad united and everybody helpful was when nine eleven happened. But other than that, like New York is a gritty place. My nigga, you'll see somebody laying on the middle of the goddamn highway or whatever, and niggas just keep rolling right by. Yo, New, New York is the only place where you 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 in the subway station and you'll see a crackhead smoking crack and jerking off at the same time. <laughs> and just be honest. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> New go to York work. is the only place where you can go be in a building. I gotta, I gotta go. You can be in a building where there's 24 karat gold ceilings and mm. there's a homeless nigga outside begging for food. It's crazy. It's crazy. New York is Dead one ass, like. Crazy. Where they do that at? No, nah, dead ass. I'm not saying that's a good thing, but it's, it's, it just. It has its ups and its downs. It has its up. It has a major silver lining. I gotta get out of here safe. Oh, no, I'm out of there already, my nigga. I live in Connecticut now, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Connecticut boy now, baby. I only been over there for a year, but still, man, I love it. I ain't coming back. I only come back to visit for the show and uh, to visit family. But as far as I'm always be a New York nigga down in down in down in my in soul, your- in my in my heart. You know what I'm talking about? Inside the heart. Inside the body. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so uh, um, Shade, what happened this week? Okay, so this topic is the future of money. I came across a tweet on. 4-30-2022 about Walmart accepting ApeCoin. Ape, wait, what? ApeCoin? Ape coin. Yeah, something's changing. That's Ooh, what the what? tweet said. I, I went to Walmart and they accept ApeCoin. Something's changing. 
So, you know, I did a little digging. So retailers are now accepting cryptocurrency as a form of payment in mm. in their stores as well as online. Companies like Walmart, PayPal, Starbucks, AT&T, Overstock, Twitch, Microsoft, Amazon, amongst others like Home Depot, mm. Home Fo- Whole Foods, Cheap Air, fast food chains, GameStop. There, there's more. Like there's a list. There's a long so list of people. Is, is it, man? Right. So major brands are taking steps towards a better form of digital currency. They believe it serves as an alternative means for transferring funds internationally and they, they also provides people with who don't have access to um traditional banks you know mm. like the banks that we see every day here in america yeah um so you can pretty much like come out of town or come overseas and not have american currency but you will still be able to you know buy things the appeal for using cryptocurrency can protect a business or individual from fraud Mm. Clients and customers would not need to share personal financial information. It acts as a third party between consumers and merchants. Mm. The exchange of currency is changing. The world's changing. Like either way, if it's it's happening, whether it's good or bad, this yeah. is this is this is something that I've been seeing a lot. Like cryptocurrency is like the thing right now. I'm not gonna lie. If I was like a little younger and my head was like but I was like a conspiracy theorist. I would be like, yo, that's that new world order right there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I feel like I missed the wave of crypto. Um, crypto. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's it just came, getting started. Yeah, but like when you wanted to make that chicken, that yeah. wave, is, I feel like it's over already. Okay, so it's like popularized. Yeah, it's already, everybody's on it already. You know what I mean? It's like, mm-hmm. it's like it's no longer the, like the, the risky thing to get into because it's like, it's, it's almost solidified pretty much, right? Like, if, um, you got, you got, I think there's still, like, there's still, um, working on a few things yeah. and they're working on making it a little bit more accessible for the average person. I still don't understand it. Right. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I think it's like a baby. You get what I'm saying? Like it's brand new. A lot of people really don't understand it, especially like, I mean, generationally wise, a lot of people aren't really tech savvy. A lot of people are just getting hip to the tech world, period. Cryptocurrency, I think, um, like everything has two sides to it. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? Yeah, that whole new world order, you can dive down that rabbit hole and be afraid of that. But, you know, if you look at the other side of it, you'll be able to like travel anywhere and be able to use money. Like there, I think there's always an upside and a downside to so, things. And I think it's more about ed- self-education. Like a lot of people will just take word of... I just, I just want to know, if I go, go to Colombia again... Am I still going to be balling or is my currency just going to match now? Am I going to be broke in Colombia too? I just want to know because <laughs> that's, that's a question. That's a good question. I'm not with that, my nigga. I'm not trying that's to That's a very good question. You know, it's There's a deeper meaning to this. Mm. You know, I always just think about to get hit us with the artistry. When I, no, when I, when I, when I heard this, right, mm-hmm. this shit bugged me the fuck out. I, you type who invented Bitcoin mm-hmm. in the Google. No one really knows who is behind this pseudonym, um, Satoshi Nakamoto. Okay, like so it, it's thing. a it's an alias somebody created because they didn't want to reveal their identity, mm. and they created Bitcoin in two thousand. Uh, it doesn't say here, but two thousand eleven, I believe. Mm. There, it's some. Somebody that's keeping their show totally under the radar, under an uh, alias. So that don't that don't sound you, good. To you me. get what I'm saying? It's like I don't why, want no accountability. Why would, why would you hide your identity? I don't want no accountability what's, for what's, what's about what's to go really down. What's really behind this? Like who? And the whole world is behind this now. Yeah, it's a little. That's the thing about it. That's like I. I that's why I'm like I can't totally. I can't. To, I, I'm not even totally. I can't even really subscribe yet because it's just like. How I don't know what the fuck it is. Like every time I ask somebody what current uh, uh, cryptocurrency. Uh, cryptocurrency is, I yeah. get a different answer. So I never get a straight he cre- answer. He created the blockchain. So I actually mm-hmm. did a deep dive, mm-hmm. and it is somewhat complicated. Okay. However, it really isn't. It's just like see, that's the same answer. <laughs> it is. So it's a digital currency, right? Got that and part. Basically, it's a non. It's like basically, it's a. It's numbers and it's the same thing as money. However, it's a little bit more, um, which, what would you call it? Um, it has more value. Not, not that it has more value, 
But it's like there's a lot more. You can tell the exchanging of hands between it. You get what I'm saying? Like how money, you know how there's like. There's no paper trail. There, no, there is. It's a solid paper trail. With crypto is a solid With paper trail. With crypto. The money, because there's a money, number, there's a number attached. And it's almost like it can't be duplicated. Whereas it's like you can. It's a serial attached. Yeah. Right. There's a, So it can't be duplicated. So it's, it's always. So basically this is, is a better way to like keep track of where funds are going and coming and, and, right. and who it's had it. I don't like that. I don't like that shit at all. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. There's two sides. And, of it. and the person that invented this whole thing, it wants to stay anonymous. Yeah. The I'm whole time. Anonymous. Like mm, there, yeah. there's a reason behind that. Why wouldn't you want to be um, known for that? The, shit. the person accredited to, to the to something that's changing society, like yeah, as we speak. on a fucking worldwide scale. Like that's in, that's in, I don't know. It, well, it's, it's kind of spooky at the end of the day, but um, wherever you want to take it, left or right, it's still innovative and it's still. I think everybody should get a part of it. I mean, at this point, we can't avoid it. It's here. It's so, taking the world in a different path, uh, and I think that alone will be scary. Like, think about boomers. <laughs> they hate. Oh yeah. They hate Yo, computers. I swear, my mom is just like. She, at my job, I'm literally like, they're like, I don't know how yeah. to use the email. Why? Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't text. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah. And I literally, I take joy in being the generation that's kind of like I understand not knowing how to use it but I see the beauty in using it yeah. so I love like sitting down with them teaching them how to use it and even if it's scary and it's new it's really about how you utilize it yeah I you think what I'm saying? I, I mean, like, listen I'm all for I'm all, all for moving up forward and, and, and learning new things I just I just really wish I had a better and, and it's, you know what it's my fault because I go and learn an extensive uh, or elaborate uh, a program or something on my own, and I have never taken the time to go learn um, cryptocurrency. And I need to take the time to go do that. So, um, I definitely, I definitely will have some more knowledge about it. Probably the next time we talk about it. But uh, <laughs> it's almost like you you have to look at it and take yourself back to like a primitive state. With yeah, this shit, right? If you if there was no such thing as money, mm-hmm. um, how would you um, like how would you barter? Because that, well, that's what it is at the end of the day. It's a bartering system. I have these three white hoes. What can you... Get the fuck No, <laughs> no, no, no. But think about oh, it. No. I'm playing, y'all. I'm no, no, no. It's, it's not even playing because think of a nigga that gets bitches. That's an what? asset. It is? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. If, if okay, you asset. have bread and fish ass, and water, like, right? Yeah. It's just and a I have <laughs> And I have um your uh, sexual needs. Yeah. That's a bartering system. That is a bartering it's, system. It's, that's why prostitution was the, the first. first profession. No, not profession. Yeah, it's yeah. like one of the oldest professions. Of course. One of the oldest, been right? pussy for years. Years. But eons. Think, <laughs> but think about it. You got to look at it like if if you was if you was at like, we, we talking about things in a prim- primitive state, right? What would you barter if like, how would you make money if there was no money? What skills do you have? I'd use my body size and start punching. Let me stop. Oh my God. <laughs> I won't beat but your that's ass. That's another thing. Protection. Do yeah. you go to... Like, no, like I know every, what you're saying. I'm, I'm being stupid right now. Everything yeah, everything everything has, well, I think it goes into like soft skills and hard skills. Like, not everybody has those... Like, there's a difference. But capitalizing on those skill sets will... Like I mean, that's that's kind of what we do now. We just yeah, have a, yeah. we just have a monetary system more that civilized, more, uh, that puts a value on it. So yeah. um, I think, regardless of whether it's cryptocurrency, this paper currency, a bartering system, you still have to have a skill set that you can monetize, and that's um, other people need. Yeah, honestly, I think <laughs> I think this was inevitable, anyways. Even though well, we don't know where it's coming from, because it's like three percent. This is less than three percent of uh, America's physical cash. Three uh, percent um, of physical cash. Wait, how do I say that? All, out of all the currency or 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 monies we have in America, circulating, uh, circulating, only three percent of it is physical cash. I don't know what the reason was for that. I used to really? know. Yes. Think about it. Crazy. It's all my years now. Yeah. Listen, think about it. It you have a credit card, you have a bank card. Even if you have money in a bank, there's no box with your name on it. Mm. There's no physical box with your name on it. If you have you ever checked your bank account at like three o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Be Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, our yeah, systems yeah. are down. Yeah. Do you want to know why? Because they're exchanging is, your money. Yeah. 
They're using your money. There's no box unless you have like a cash box, a, a actual cash box that like people have that with their diamonds, their jewelry and stuff in it. There's no box in the bank with your name on it. They all transfer it to that digital currency so they can invest it, exchange it. Like money is the like physical money really isn't real. It's just the fact that we can see it. We can touch it. We can count it. And we're 3D people, so we are like, okay, this is real, but it's really not. If you burn a dollar, I mean, you just burn some paper. Who who knows? Yeah, yeah m- most people are millionaires because of their asset. They don't got that money and in their, their net worth. account. Yeah. yeah, they don't. They don't got the actual money in their account. You know what I was always thinking too? It's funny. Like, what happens if one day, like, the banking system just crashes? That's happened. That's happened. People lose their fucking minds. They go to the banks. In um, the Great Depression, people were literally going to the banks talking about, I want to take out all my money. I want to, they're like, we don't have any money here. We, yeah, because they like the literally like lost their mind. There was people jumping out of buildings because they couldn't access their funds. And if you trust the bank and you put your money in the bank, you're trusting that your money, there's a box with your name on it that has your money in it. Doesn't work like that. Mm. So when the bank shut down, when they're broke, you're broke too because they don't have your money. Mm. That's why your money has to be in other things. That's why I think people buy artwork. That's that's why I brought it back to bartering. You get what I'm saying? So it's pretty much what it is. That's what, if I if I got fish and loaves of bread, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's man, gold. Like, you get what I'm, what I'm saying? saying? <laughs> I can trade that with whatever you have. But it, but like what you said, protection. That's what the mafia is doing. Yeah. Can you build a house? Like people are robbing you. People are disrespecting your business. Now you got the mafia behind it. It's mm. a it's they're bartering protection for money. Mm. Um, niggas is pimps is bartering sexual desires for money. Mm. All of this, everything it's is just a bartering the innovation system. of the bartering. System, the be- the where be- we live now, what we're doing. I, now. I, I, I like. I need to like get into. I need to get into that a little bit more and, and learn some more about it. Because honestly, I feel like I, I don't know. I, I, we, you know, going to high school, we didn't learn nothing about really about fucking currency. We didn't learn about financial uh, uh, growth. We didn't learn nothing. I didn't. I don't know what kind of classes you was in, but my classes, nigga, <laughs> we learned about Christopher Columbus. Oh no, <laughs> I took. Um, I took entrepreneurship. Where in college or something? No, in high school. In high school, high I had met Mr. Gurney. Mr. Gurney was the entrepreneur class, and he literally, we went to the uh, shopping district downtown. Really? And we had to have, like, a business plan. Like, we literally had to have the whole setup. And it was a project that we actually did for the whole course. And it was in 12th grade. It was, like, one of those getting ready getting ready for... The real world type Yeah. So, um, I remember I bought bought lip glosses because all these girls, you know, them little 99 said... My lip gloss is popping. Wait, but this is what I did. This was my marketing strategy. Okay. I had all the football and basketball players uh-huh. selling them for me. Oh, so you had the swell niggas. They were gone yeah. by the end of the... Of like, course. two days, they were gone. Yeah, Ray Rice walking around selling lip gloss. Dead I, no, seriously. Yeah. But it's just like... Um, you gonna buy this goddamn lip gloss. <laughs> I do think that there isn't enough access to learning like financial literacy. And unless you have opportunities like that, you you have no idea what the, what the hell to do with money as an adult. Well, shout out to Mr. Gurney for that one. Because that, <laughs> that, that's honestly, honestly, I'm going to keep it 100, bro. Like, I was bad with money all the way up until like 26, bad, 26. I mean, I could get a little impulsive at times, but not nah, like I just fixed my credit. I'm feeling like, you know what I mean? Like a couple years, I mean, like two, three years ago. <laughs> I, I didn't know shit about it, bro. I honestly didn't like anytime there was a credit check for something growing up, I, I was just like, oh, can't have that, I guess. Like, you know what I mean? It was, well, I'll get in the, you want a nice car? Out. Even if I was making the money, there's times I was making mad bread. I just was like, yeah, that's not an option for me. Same. I didn't always value it for, yeah. for like what it was or what it could do for yeah, me. I kind of was just, I had this mindset like, oh, I can always get it. If I can't get it, I'm going to ask for it. If I can't ask for it, I'm going to take it. Yeah. And it was a really, really bad mindset. It got me in a really lot of trouble. Yeah, I mean, I could not But, like, seriously, I think a lot of us don't understand financial literacy. Like, now, I bought my kids a book called Money Hacks. It's beautiful. I love it. And they literally, I set them, well, they asked for it, but they set themselves up. Because they, I told them, like, I'm not made of money. Like, I got it, but I can't, I don't always got it to give you. Yeah. So they go to school and they make their own money. That's fine. That's fine. But, I mean, a part of, like, learning, you didn't learn, we didn't learn financial literacy. I think 
how we change that is by teaching ourselves yeah, and, our and then teaching our kids or teaching others financial literacy mm-hmm. because if we can be completely honest, the, bl- the black community struggling, struggling because of that. Struggling, struggling. Honestly, yeah. but that's why I say I like where it's going. Like, even, so don't get me wrong. Like growing up, my fault, I got the, I'm, I'm, I got comfortable. You know what I'm saying? That, that, <laughs> that J-Mo hit. The J-Mo hit uh, and, and, and the popcorn hit. So y'all really can't, you can't see big months, but I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. You know, that melanin's glossy. Anyways, but um, growing up, I, I still was hustling. Like, I ain't gonna lie. My brother, between my brother and my nigga Pop, shout out to Papa Doc, um, them niggas um, and my pops because you know I ain't gonna speak his business but that nigga was a hustler um, my brother had me like he was burning CDs I'm talking about pornos whatever before YouTube and all this shit it was burnt like whatever like in high school my my pops my, my brother had like categories of different pornos <laughs> Midgets, what? black chicks, light skinned chicks you know what I'm saying before got <laughs> Pornhub and all that he would give me them shits and he was like hey look Kids in your school is going to fuck with this. And I was like, all right. And then they all right, no, lo and behold, I go to school. I'm like, yo, I got them ditties. I got what? them ditties. Yo, you got that? You got foot shit? Yo, I ain't going to front. That's how I found out. There's a lot of weird niggas out there. Niggas <laughs> like feet. Yo, yo. niggas what love feet. That? Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm going to keep it honey, bro. Whole, whole, like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, um, what's, what's this word? Uh, uh, kink shame. Like, kink shame. You know why? Because I, yo, I'm not going to lie. You like some weird shit. I like pretty feet, my nigga. I'm like, I don't do nothing with it. I don't do nothing with it. Don't get me wrong. And if I did, I wouldn't care. I would keep it 100 with you. I, yo, I'm going to keep it 100. Pretty feet, my nigga. Yo, it changes the game, bro. It's something about a woman. Like, yo, I, at growing up, I used to bag. I ain't going to front. I was that nigga. I had a lot of, a lot of good looking shorties. But I never paid attention to the feet until I had this one jump. And she had pretty feet, my nigga. Like, it was like her toes was always done. Yo, I, yo, 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 you know, it's funny because you, a girl not really bad until she got pretty feet. Pretty feet, my nigga. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Like, nail polish. I don't do not let them know. I don't do not let them know. I, nah, I'm going to keep it 100. Like, I, I, Y'all I, made I, me look down on my feet. Like. Nah, I'm going to keep it 100, though. I done tried a lot of things, my nigga, but I... Something like doing shit with feet don't do nothing for me. Ew. But no, listen, nigga, I be getting it in, bro. It is what it is. Like I slowed down a lot during the years, but I, I was experimental as a kid, like growing up. Not nothing, no body things and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like respect to y'all that like that, but that's not my thing. But you know what I mean? I try shit out, and I, I, I like what I like, my nigga. Like pretty feet. Something about just seeing a woman. Is this how you say? Well, like, like, like a, I said, women, men with and, good, and, 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 nice teeth, exactly, and nice not hands. Fucking teeth. No, uh, well, maybe you maybe. Know, you put that pussy on his sideburns. This, like, this, but I, I like my sideburns. <laughs> nah, but seriously. Nah, but for real. Like, though, I think like, there's certain things about women that are obviously attractive, yeah. but men, like when girls look at you, like we're looking at your nails, no. under your nails, we're looking at your fingers. The length and the width. And I yes, that at they a do late matter. Age, bro. I don't know why um, I learned that, but women be. I ain't gonna oh. lie. I get so many. Co- look, get get a, get a, get a, get a, get a, get a flick of these. <laughs> get, get, I, get, get, look get, at these. Get, I get a lot of compliments on my hands. I don't know what it is. What do you mean? I, I don't know what it is, but they be saying things about my hands. My baby girl, my shorty, oh. Cindy, baby, you <laughs> coming home? You gonna play with these things? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know what I mean now, but they be not telling that me. Ass. <laughs> That ass. Sometimes you might not even like. You can paper bag and put a paper bag over his face, but them hands. Really? I see. I <laughs> don't mean, know what it is. Them hands, or or like it can be a guy with like a medium ugly face, mm. and he got a nice smile. You're like you see what I said in the last show. Men and women are different, but they get. Well, I mean, think about it. What women have, the attributes that men like about women, they're obvious. Yeah. Boobs and butt. Yeah. yeah. These niggas are basic. Yeah. Girls, you can't like. I was talking about this the other day, but niggas hat fish, okay? Like you can't, you can't really judge a, a dude with his clothes on, but you can see his hands, you can see his nails, and see if that nigga dirty. Mm. You can see his teeth and see if he takes care of himself. Yeah. That's why. That's what I like yeah. about teeth is like, um, you look at a girl and you look at her teeth. That's your hygiene. Oh yeah, can, that's exactly. hygiene that you can't hide from anybody. Nails is fucked. If your teeth are fucked up, no offense with, to anybody with bad teeth or anything like nah, that. Nah, if you just got bad y'all teeth, y'all deserve one too. Just brush teeth, them, please. Just brush them. There's probably them. certain diseases where you're enamel. I don't want to get into brush that. them. Just but brush yeah, them. But <laughs> when you look inside somebody's mouth, it's like looking inside <laughs> of their like body. 
hygiene routine. And, and not just the teeth, though, because I ain't going to lie. Like, my cousin growing up, female. I, I, one thing I was blessed with is a lot of female cousins. Shout out to all my beautiful little cousins and older cousins that um helped grow up your big money. But, um... One, my older cousin, she's like my big sis, always tell me if a girl they has got dirty nails, do not put your penis in her. But because in the end of the day, if she not keeping her nails clean, then her pussy probably even dirtier. Okay, you, you, so- you know what a chick told me? This, this is some crazy shit. She goes, um, I remember I had a show, right? And sometimes what we would bring, I would go perform places, and mm-hmm. we would bring girls like, yo, come, come to the show, come watch us perform or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. And she goes, um, that bitch, that bitch pussy stained. And I'm like, what are you talking you about? Know? And she goes, tell. you know how you can tell a bitch pushies thing? I'm like, how? She goes, her hair is dirty. Word mm. up. And, she, and I'm like, what? If she, she don't goes, wash her hair, she don't wash her hair. She walk. goes, if she, if, she, if she don't wash her hair. Yeah. And, mm. and I'm like, TMI. Wall of the duck. I'm going to write that in my notes. Put that shit down, my nigga. Nah, seriously. Like, well, I mean, I think it depends on the the type of girl. Because you got like your Not hair textures air. you get what I'm saying yeah, yeah. and it's just like there's certain tells when you see a person like I said like you said with a guy in his nails think about it that people be working, they be, but like finger no not even ooh, that ooh, like ooh, when ooh. you get like a lot of men um give girls these STIs. so-called diseases and STDs and STIs because they're dirty. Yeah. Like a lot of most of the STIs and STDs are given to women by men. Yeah. Of course. You get what I'm saying? I like mean, dirt, yeah. bacteria under your nails. But STDs from bacteria under your nails? No, well, STIs. You know, STI. STIs. No, no, no. STI. I'm saying like most sexually transmitted uh, yeah, whatever. things are infections. infections or whatever have you most of them like some of them can't be transferred from male to yo, female yo I never really thought about that I don't even be dapping some niggas like, you can't like you think about it like yo what? how many niggas think you know back in high school you had man gooking their fingers like, like, my, <laughs> like I, I work I'm a, I'm a like t- like I have clean fingers like I have really nice hands right yeah. But I work. I have calluses. I do pull ups. Look, I got a blood clot on my thumb. But that's you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But that's like, also I, I, another thing. Like, I, look wor- at. I work yeah. I did, and I go to but the you gym. Still and, can't, but you still. But my, yeah, my hands are really clean. I ain't gonna lie. The only time. Some niggas like, are disgusting. Yeah. But the only time I used to have, like, shit in my nails is when I used to scratch wa- your, hand. your waves. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie. I used to cake that, that, that wave grease in my <laughs> head. And I and I thought I like it was like when well, I was fucking fifteen to twenty, maybe to eighteen to nineteen, whatever. But I would always be scratching my head, like try like if I ain't have my brush, it'd be a habit trying to you know train the waves with my nails. You, you know what that's for for anybody that got waves when you're in the shower and you're shampooing your hair, you brush shampoo. Yeah. Oh, you giving away? So, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, hold on. I, I, These are I, things I, that daddy should have told on. y'all. I ain't gonna lie to, bro. I ain't gonna lie with that nigga. That nigga just showed mad character right there. And we gotta get this nigga like, yo, because I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't know if you're from New York or where you from, whatever you watching. A nigga to sit here and give away gems of how to get this. You don't get that. You don't get that. You don't get, get that. Your you daddy's supposed to teach yo, you listen, that. Yo, listen. You don't need sporting waves. You don't need that shit at you don't, all. You don't need no sporting waves. At all. Just, just brushing the shower. Brushing Vaseline. the shower. Vaseline. Yo, that ass. If a nigga... You gotta understand. Like, the same thing we was talking about currency. In New York, <laughs> a nigga will have the deadliest waves on the block, my nigga. I'm talking about swag surfing on them things. <laughs> this nigga, you can act this nigga a hundred times. Yo, how you get your waves, bro? This nigga will nah, give you 102 nah, nah. different answers, my nigga. <laughs> and then one of them shits is the right one because that nigga is not trying to give away the fucking gems, my nigga. So that nigga just, he gave y'all free juice right now. So For so, anybody that got waves, they they know. They know. You know what I'm saying? They know. And, and, well, I just got that good hair. How many times have I heard that bullshit, my nigga? <laughs> you can get motherfucking waves. White people can get waves if they wanted to. Well, Anybody can get waves. waves. Waves are really from your curl pattern. Yeah, yeah. that too. That too. They're That's or- where they're from. Organized curl pattern. That's all it is. That too. So if a white boy got curly hair, yeah, he can get waves. Mm-hmm. All right. So I have another topic for you guys. Image versus skill in the rap and music industry, right? So I came across another tweet. This week, Polo G tweeted, now more than ever in hip hop, your image has to plays more of a part in a, in people buying into your music. Um, it don't totally matter agree. how good you are, you can rap. Totally no more agree. they care about the person. So I looked up, you know, I, I did my own little digging and it's like the 
15 most popular in rappers in 2022. Um, Drake is number one. Of course. Kanye West, Little Nas X, what? Meg The Stallion, yeah, of course. The Baby, Saweetie, MGK, DDG. I didn't even know Saweetie Whoa. was a rapper. Future. Wait, 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 wait. So, wait, wait. Let me finish because I need to go back. I hear it come up because I don't even. Little know Nas X, uh-huh. Meg The Stallion, The Baby, The Baby, uh-huh. um, Saweetie, MGK, DDG, Future, Young What's Thug, Little Baby, Kid Leroy, J Cole, Burna Boy, and Travis Scott. Now I didn't even know. Some of the people on this list, yeah, I don't know who right? I guess is. I'm, I guess I'm an old head too. Yeah, Whatever. Yeah, anyway, but taking a look at this, Paul G might be onto something in in rap. And they is, say Kendrick, even though he ain't dropping. This, this is what I'm saying. Like, so I like, like I said, I did some like really. I just did some digging because I'm like, what is this? Like, it's changed. So it said rap is including content delivery, the flow, and the tone. You get what I'm saying? Accompanied by music. It's like spoken word with music. Mm-hmm. However, people that exist like 6 9 kind of throw that all out the window. So I think um, as music has, you know, evolved, your image as a rapper gives you a target audience. Mm-hmm. It gives your your audience a visual character and personality for your brand. It creates a strong relationship with, fran- with fans while moving them closer to becoming consumers and fans so today it seems according to music gateway image is everything in music yo i'm not gonna lie i've seen that changing over the years and honestly like this is why i feel like <clears throat> i don't want to be the bitter field rapper but <laughs> i feel like i got we like people in my age range maybe like give or take five five to four three years uh either way of the ball kind of like got not robbed but not really we got fucked up because being that middle child when uh, we, we were like you said last episode of this episode the before we're, we're the we're the bridging gap mm-hmm. um um the thing is it's like the music industry has drastically changed along with the hip-hop culture in the last 10 years well i think it's become a lot more commercialized yeah so now it it's about how i can market you and how i can build products off of you yeah. how can i sell from not just your music but how can i sell t-shirts how can i sell all this types of cereal shit. like everything rap, but the rap music. has become a circus it's a like it's less lyrical and more um just kind of commercial yeah. like you can you can even see even in rappers o- a little older than us once they got that deal they became a gimmick yeah they became uh like Snoop Dogg, like he had, he already had a brand. Like him, he already had a persona. When you saw him, you thought about smoking weed and you thought about dogs mm-hmm. and you thought about cripping. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You you take that to a whole nother level. You mm-hmm. add a machine behind it, and you have a character. Yeah. And I think rap is built off of building these worlds for other people to feed into. But I think it's turned very, very commercialized and more about the products. And the marketing behind the persona and the character, rather than the music. I agree. When you think about it, with um, with rappers, where um, rappers are the most influential, like spokespeople of our time. There's nobody else that can sell, sell you a product as well as a rapper, and and athletes. That's why rappers and athletes go hand in hand. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like think about like a fucking golf player. Yeah, selling you uh, a pair of sneakers, yeah. or a t-shirt, yeah. or a hat. No, Jay Z's gonna do that. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Uh, Lil Nas, everybody, Drake. Yeah. He got a Nike deal. Um, Drake said in in his song, um, Nicki Minaj is a Barbie. Um, literally, I got a sneaker deal and I ain't break a sweat. Yeah, or some shit like that. Yeah, and that's so. That. Jay Z even said, "I sold more Nike. I sold more than the Nike um Nike logo." Or no. I saw, he said something about the I Nike saw mo, No, no, he's talking about the Yankee, Yankee he said hat. So more um, Yankee hats than the, the, the Yankees, Yankees did. did. Yeah, yeah, like we're like we're the best rappers are the best. When I, I keep saying we because I feel like black people, but 
rappers are the best spokespeople of our time. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's nobody else that is that influential. When you think about what music does, it's almost like hypnotizing. You're in the gym and you're listening to this rap song and you're embodying their persona. You're embodying their character. And they also I, fall into archetypes. Like, selling I'm life, doing, though. I'm that's doing, that's 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 selling life, though. I'm, I'm doing pull-ups and I'm listening to 50 Cent. Of course. Because you, you want that I'm mentality. Saying? You want to embody... You, you, want, you, you are 50 while you're doing you this. You might shit. go over the edge doing like some dumb shit that you wouldn't normally do yeah. listening to the wrong nigga. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I, I get I get it. I get it. I, I, and then I, it's the thing is, I'm not even mad at it. It's honestly just... I feel like it's like anything. Like before, you know, rock and roll was the number one uh, genre of music in America for years and years and years. And hip hop... Once hip hop was like almost like this underground secret that was like if you know you know, and that's what was dope about it because you was getting it was we tried to hold on to it for so long to keep it pure, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And if you wasn't nice, we were ripping you apart because nah, you it's either you about this hip hop life or you not. So like so, I said, you don't think com- being co- like getting signed and going dumb hard for deals and getting this machine behind you ruin the integrity of, of actually what rap is because yeah. if you literally look up rap it has n- it the last thing on the list of what makes a rapper a rapper is his image his image is built by his content his lyrics his flow yeah that, it like, changed over time you know, i think it's that's not the case rap, anymore rap initially stood for um rhythm and poetry mm, it is it's spoken word with music behind it exactly I it's not it anymore. So yeah, exactly. It's now, not now. Well, it's still kind of <laughs> no. Let's hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's not. Let's well, not. For, let's not. not act like th- there are very dope ass lyrical rappers out there. Let's not forget, like the, even I, the young absolutely. boys too. Like you got what's the little Corday? Corday's dope he's, as fuck. So he's on the twenty twenty. Li- like there's a whole bunch of rappers on the twenty twenty list. Yeah, Corday that was dope just twenty twenty two. Okay, that wasn't like the the twenty twenty list is literally like. Tyler the Creator. Tyler the Creator is dope um, as fuck too. Gunna, Forty Two Doug, Baby uh, King, Denzel no. Curry, Baby King, I fuck Joey with Joey Badass, King. That's my little guy, Little Dirk, like uh, Cardi B, Pop Smoke. There's a lot of people who are like, it, I think it's like either yeah, it's, a team it's team either or. The only problem is is that the people that like I feel like they're not rewarding hard work. And I'm not saying these these other rappers are not putting in hard work that's been mentioned. I don't want because I don't even know. I don't want to be ignorant to say that. But a core day that, that little nigga is putting in. He's Yo, putting in. What, he's not getting enough what attention. Do you, what do you think about his CD though? Honestly, um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Where did he go wrong? I, I didn't I didn't I didn't listen to the whole album. Uh, I've been listening to more of his older stuff. But I honestly think image is the problem. I feel like he's not he's not. I was just I was just going to say that. He's not with it with it, with a rapper, you have to tell a story. Everything is a story. Nike, they champion champions. So when you wear some Nike sneakers, you're thinking about Jordan, you're thinking about winning the playoffs or the Super Bowl, you feel like a champion. It's not going to make you play any different. It's not more comfortable than Adidas fucking Ultra Boost or some shit like that. It's just the way that they market their brand. You can look at any other brand and it's the same thing. Every brand tells a story. With rappers, you have to do the same thing. If you're a rapper and you don't tell a story, it's it's not it's just not gonna work for you. And I agree. The best the best stories that work with rappers are superhero stories. So, it's all archetypes and exactly. collective consciousness so, um, and the hero story so coming from the bottom, taking a journey, making it come across enemies and then coming full circle, come back home as the hero. So Kanye West, he's in a he gets in a car accident. He busts his jaw, mm-hmm. can't talk and Still he turns the best him. rapper alive. Yeah. 50 Cent. He's on his mama's block chilling, selling drugs and shit. Yeah, they shoot man. him nine times. He comes back alive and he's spawned. And then also, you, he, 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 you get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's it's not 
It's not nothing new under the sun. These yeah. are real, based on true story stories, but they're still superhero stories. But do you think mm-hmm. they're yeah. over relying on the identity of the superhero and not the actual I think, I think like the storyline? It's like watching a superhero story with no storyline. He's just walking around talking about I'm a superhero. Look yeah. at me with a flashy ass costume. Yeah. I think that's what the and problem cheap is. Tricks. I think the re- the what got it got old. Everybody had not, not to say you know or, or devalue these stories, but it's like. There's only so many times that we can talk about overcoming this grand. Uh, when does the, the narrative change? Exactly. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, it's just like I feel like not only not only has it made it easy, um, technology has made it easier for the new generation to be artists. Like before, going to the studio was a fucking process. If you knew somebody with a studio, nigga, you was like, you was lucky. You know what I mean? If I didn't have pie growing up, I don't know the fuck I was gonna record music at. So at the end of the day, it's just like, it's it's like if you don't have, if you didn't have those accessibilities, one. So nowadays, nigga, you could be a, the a rapper that just has an iPad. If you have one of these motherfuckers, you're good. If you, you have a anyway. cell phone, you're good. Like you don't need the uh, uh the the fucking ten thousand dollar to a uh, hundred thousand uh, dollar studio. You don't so need technology that Technology kind of changed. Technology the made it so your grandma could be in a living room. Uh, everything, bro. You can record yeah. anywhere. So that that's one thing. And it's just like, yo, how many of these niggas can I pay attention to at one time? <laughs> you have to be the brightest, sparkling, rainbow haired color motherfucker in the room. You, wow. uh, yeah, you that have makes, to. That makes sense. Wow. So, in the end of the day, like, oh, rainbow haired color kid, wilding mad out, mad tattoos, right? Wilding out, blood, this, that, and the other. He's bright. His music, I can bounce to it. I'm gonna pay attention to him now. That right. it is what it is, and I'm not and not to say anything against anybody like six nine or whatever or perp mm. pop perp smoke pop low <laughs> pop pee. any of these motherfuckers. <laughs> not, nothing to say against them. They, even if they if you don't like their content, the point of the matter is that they had the right. That's that's the issue with Corday. Corday is not bright enough. He doesn't have a gimmick. Yeah, he I, s- have, like, I saw this enough. um interesting interview with um Rick Rubin, and they were Rick Rubin was talking to LL Cool J, and it was asking him, "How do you think um a hit is created?" And he said some real profound shit. He was like, um, making a hit is like fishing, mm. right? You don't go out and say that I'm going to catch these fish. Like those niggas go, I make hits. Yeah. You sound like a dummy. You yeah. get what I'm saying? You go out and you fish every day. Yeah. The more times that you fish, the, the bigger more your chances. The bigger your chances of catching that big fish. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's almost like if you use that same fishing analogy, they they have another analogy where you know they have this um this shining silver thing attached to the bait. Yeah. So the fish can see the silver thing and then they get closer and see the bait. That's too late. Mm. And then then catch the bait. That silver thing is almost like the colorful hair. Yeah. The bait is the actual good content. And that is a music. beautiful analogy. Beautiful right? analogy. That and that's exactly what it is now. And it's like it's sad because you know uh, us as the consumer, because hey, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of hip hop, us as a consumer kind of let down the Kendricks, the Cordays, the J. Coles, because we're not really looking for them anymore. It, it's, 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 you gotta think, we got older. No, we but got I also older, think this busier. generation doesn't, they're not that deep. They're, they're uh, just not that deep. Um, like they can get they deep can. They, when they're bothered. Yeah. When they're bothered, let's be honest. Unless some th- somebody strikes a nerve, they're not digging. But you gotta understand, like they just like shiny shit. Up how we did, though. I know that, but that's what I'm saying. They just like shiny shit. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Ooh, that's new. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> oh, that's nice. They're not thinking that deep. Like, yeah. Um, if you really listen to the lyrics of stuff now, that shit is toxic as fuck. Yeah. I'm sorry. The yeah. old rap, like you used to be able to listen to it, and even if it was talking about drug dealing, you, you might have learned a lesson. Yeah, yeah. You get what you I'm saying? Still like to I, like there's certain music that. I feel like raise me. But if you think about lyrics and their importance, you don't really have to listen to it. All you have to do is repeat the words and they become they a part you. of your subconscious yeah, yeah, and you, you become tricks. that person. So it's like, I get what you're saying about it had to go there, the shiny thing. But how how dangerous is that? Because think about what now is being mass produced on a big scale and it's so attractive that you can't stop looking at it, but it's not good for you. It's scary. I'm it's not, not good lie. for it you. The, st- the stuff that these kids talk about, I, not love, like, 
I'll listen to it all day. But when some words, I'll be ra- I'll be singing along with it. I'm like, wait, what? The- nah, I'm not saying that. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? It's like, okay, like when when does the image precede what we're actually talking about? Because rap wasn't always this like. I mean, it, it almost like took this conscious. It took like a path from consciousness to like root chakra animalistic. I'm gonna get you before you get me. Um, you can't see me. I got the biggest bag. I got the biggest chain. My bitch got the biggest ass. It's like took this like evolution and we're more into the character. So we ignore what he's saying. Like mm. there's songs that like there, there was a song and I was like, yo, this song's about prostitution. Mm. And everybody's singing. There's a song that nobody really knows the words to. And it's a TikTok song. If you look up the lyrics, they're disgusting. Disgusting. I sound like an old head myself, but they are like I. It's some. It. It's like I. I have to. Song. I'm gonna find, find it for you. But yeah. the words. It's. It's about gang banging. Yeah. And there's and there's mad girls like. I don't know if you know that song. I got I got it. Yo, the lyrics to that song are bun. Yeah. I'm not singing that. Yeah. I'm not making no video dancing to that. And it'd be like. Nobody's thinking about it because yeah. it's just catchy and it's, it's catchy, right? cute and it's pretty and it looks good. So I, mean, I mean, I don't know. I get, I get that. I, I I don't. I don't know. I I feel like you know what you know why. So here's why I'm biased. I'm not biased. I, I'm here's why I'm. I'm careful what I say on that part because it's just like we had a lot of dumb shit too. Of course, we had a lot of dumb shit. We had a lot of toxic shit. Doing the butt. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. And even some like songs that we just didn't understand what the fuck was going on. Like you're making it hard for me. We, man, I didn't know what the fuck that oh, song was like growing up. Yo, it's, it's crazy. I was in like Target and they were playing um, Britney Spears. Oops, I did it again. I didn't know what that song was about as a kid. And what is it about? She, she's talking about cheating on a nigga again yeah. and again yeah. and again. Yeah. Right. She's like, oops, I'm sorry. I cheated again. But and think about like, it. She's a pretty is, little girl dancing in high school. This is the songs school. that we motherfuck. Yeah. Think about it. This is the songs that we grow up So that's to, what I'm like, saying. Like, I, That's why I feel like I don't want to hold too much weight. In it's what's not on be, this now. It's not. You know what I mean? It's just It's been happening. I feel like we I just feel like we're, we're pro- first off there's a lot there's a lot of uh, 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 crap out there I get it I just feel like the oversaturation is is, is really key to the problem but at the end of the day I, nothing every, that's like the, the, the styles come back like 80s like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean now we all dress like the 80s again I feel like it's just it's just they turn right now there's gonna come a point where niggas is gonna be like I don't wanna hear no more of this shit yeah I don't, and, I, and, 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 and everything keep has it 100, its time. I don't even listen to hip hop like I used to like I'm gonna keep it real 100 with y'all I end up listening to like I listen to like Robin Thicke. I, I listen just, to you know that's my dude that right again. there. I fuck but with I that. love me some Kodak Black. I, yo, and that's, <laughs> that's the thing. Like nigga. some niggas, I really like though. What? There's a lot of I, little I, niggas and, I really, and really it's like, like. I like the aesthetic of them. Who? Like Twenty One Savage. I fuck dude. with Twenty One. That's yeah. my dude. I, yo, Kodak I used to. Black. Yo, hold on, real quick. My fault. I used to not understand why people fucked with 21. And 21, wow. I got to give you your props, bro. I, that is- I did not like his simplistic ass flow for so long. Really? And, and it's the same thing, that same effect that I had with um 2 chains. Until one day, I just made it my purpose. I, I got this thing. I, like, I'm trying so hard not to be one of those <laughs> old heads. It's just like, y'all niggas music. So I said, you know what? I went and go listen to their music. I fuck with 21 and I fuck with my, 2 chains, bro. These niggas, niggas be saying shit and it's just like sometimes you got you don't got to be like like in an interview this nigga 21 says, I ain't trying to be like one of these rapidy ass niggas. If you want if I'm gonna sound like if we all these rapidy ass niggas, we all gonna sound like and then I fuck I, with them for I, that. I look at it like um there's aesthetic rappers, then there's lyric rappers. The aesthetic rappers to me are like can't a vibe. Rap. Yeah. They're a vibe. They're vibe. Ghostface. They're a vibe. Yeah, but like, Ghostface you, used to say some shit. Oh, but yeah. everybody but says some shit, but most of it is the beat with them attached to the beat is giving you a particular vibe. Yeah, yeah. Like you go to theme artists. You go to that theme artist. Mm-hmm. You go to That's that restaurant around the corner because they make their sauce a certain way. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like Cameron makes his sauce a certain way. Scooters and Buddhas. He, he's he's <laughs> sampling a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> he's sampling a TV show. He's rhyming slow and mad syllabus. Yeah. Put that together, it's a Cameron sandwich. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And I go there for that. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah. And um some some rap twenty one savages like that to me. Pussy, 
That's yeah. what yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> straight, up. straight up. Pussy. Oh, God. What? Straight, straight up. up. 21. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's just. <laughs> no bad ass yeah, Simple ass Everybody ass. else in the world is soft now. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Except you. Yeah. 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 That's just who. Um, that's Certain rappers bring certain things out. Yeah. So. Nah, I'll fuck with it. You just know what? Little. I don't want to go over the hour. A lot of people have been telling us that our, our show's a little going on for too long. Lengthy. A little lengthy. <laughs> Y'all niggas talk too you much. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas talk too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we're going to call it a rap right there. A rizzle. Because that's what you talk about. Are you dumb? We from New York. What the fuck you talking about? Give me a motherfucking chopped cheese. Y'all talking about? Good. You dumb. Motherfucking bacon and cheese. Salt, pepper, ketchup. Y'all talking about? Uh, salt, <laughs> pepper, ketchup. I'm Sean Johnson. <laughs> oh, hey, Steph. You did. Sade Renee. Hey. Everybody have a nice night, a nice morning. I don't even know. It's probably four o'clock in the afternoon. Have whatever. You have Later. Whatever. Have one of them days. <laughs> have have, have them a day you days. deserve. Mm-hmm. And that's the IC. <laughs> we out. We out.